ready or not, listen, you are going to be taken unaware. Hello everyone, and I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. Let me tell you something. There is a thing called being taken surprisingly and being unaware. In the same manner in which it's just that, okay, let me put it like, it's just that most of the times when things happen negatively, we easily get to recall the words. There are some common words, phrases, which are mostly used when a situation is negative. And not necessarily that they are never used in positive situations, but it is not common for us to hear it or to grasp it when it's being used positively so. In this title, in this video, I said, you will be taken unaware. I'm sure it's, it scared you, isn't it? And I said, it is going to go public. But let me assure you one thing I've learned as a Christian. One thing that I've learned from the Lord as a Christian. One thing that I can assure you when you're a believer from the Lord. And I'm not talking from hearing, but I'm talking about what I have seen the Lord doing is that there are some things that when you have been praying for, you have been asking for, when you've been expecting or whatever, even if you have given up on them, you are cool, you are patient enough, no matter how long it takes, it's okay. They will catch you unaware. Listen, when the Lord called Moses in the burning bush, the man was not aware. In fact, he felt like he was not ready. But God said, you are ready. Let me ask you a question. How many people today think they are ready, whereas they are not? So this gets to show you some of the things. You feel you are not ready, but God says you are ready. Let me tell you that sometimes I would see the Lord answering me, blessing me at a time where I am relaxed, at a time where I am content, but God keep on adding, adding, adding. And I'm telling you likewise, in the public, they're going to see the grace of the Lord. Listen, it will catch you unaware. At a time where you said, I am okay. For instance, at a time when I was okay being alone, that is how I got married. I had been in the past praying, expecting marriage during those times. But at a time where I finally said, Lord, Ah, I'm fine. I'm even okay alone. It caught me unaware. It went to the public. Listen, in the same manner, you are getting blessed. I decree and I declare over your life that let it be so. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.